Hey, what's going on, babies? All right, so I'm getting ready to do a what's the tea. Okay, so don't forget, flip the rolls. Take what you need, leave what you don't need, and use the spirit of discernment. Now, um, mm, let me set my intentions first. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for showing up and showing out. Thank you for helping me with this collective what's the tea message. Thank you for using me as the messenger. And I also ask that you close the portal to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. All right, so what's the tea here? Bust the TEA. Thank you, my spirit team. So the five of wands fell to the floor. Okay. And y'all already know the five of wands speaks of some type of conflict. Okay. So there's some type of conflict. It could be competition. It could be um some inner conflict. Let's talk about this. Tell me about this conflict. Five of cops. So somebody's kind of sitting here dwelling on what they lost okay mm -hmm. somebody lost something that they loved or they're mourning or some type of grief but yeah somebody is over here crying over spilled milk right now okay so tell me about that mm. judgment comes out Woo. it's like a wake-up call that's what i just heard yeah somebody got some type of epiphany tell me about that and this is and it's making them reminisce that's how i'm hearing mm -hmm. six of pentacles come out yep it's making them reminisce here over the past and they even got a knight of wands coming out here too so it's like almost like they're seeing here how somebody could have been giving to you or you could have been giving to somebody and like what what's causing them to do this? What's causing them to focus on this spill? Milk here. Judgment. The trumpet has blown. And what I'm seeing here again is like somebody got this realization. Tell me about the realization. Five of cups. Wow. Over what they lost. And what I'm seeing here is somebody could be kind of like heavy hearted about it. What did they lose? A Knight of Wands. Wow. Okay, so somebody is really kind of like, yeah, focusing on the fact that they may have lost um, or they lost a Knight of Wands energy. All right, this is a masculine energy. Could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. It could be somewhere in their chart. Um, as well as what I heard, but otherwise, it's like, um, what what is causing them to to now mourn over this? What is this realization that they're getting? What is this realization that they're getting? So something happened or something that they seen could have been some type of communication or something that they seen something could have been communicated and it's like whatever happened I feel like if this is yeah queen of pentacles they seen the queen of pentacles they seen the feminine energy could be an earth sign energy and um they're seeing how things actually turn and it's working in your favor Okay, or they, yeah, and that's all I keep envisioning is somebody's seen something, okay? And if you're the Queen of Pentacles, they're seeing how you are kind of maneuvering both things right now. And it's like you're um, in this energy of your business person. You are, you got your maternal instincts. It's like you can do all of these things here. And it's something here that they seen. And now they're mourning. Yeah, Ace of Cups comes out. So what I feel like here is like you uh could be in a relationship or or some type of love that you're getting okay you get in this beginning this new beginning here and something um or opportunity or something an opportunity in love or relationship yeah four of wands comes out and somebody is seeing this they're getting this realization about this and what it seems like you have is it, it seems like the situation is stable or they may be feeling like okay yeah um you're settling down here okay with someone
Does this person feel like they're at fault? Yes. And it's not that. It's just only because... Hmm. It feels like... Hmm. Don't you know how when you kind of overindulge or you try to do things that are like when you're trying to achieve something here or you're trying to attain something, it feels like this is one of these things where they actually kind of ignored the relationship. You know how you you are more so focused on, um, and what I just heard is winning, the success, that you fail to focus on the actual thing that you're trying to win or fight over, if that makes sense. And operating in that behavior, it ends up causing you to, yeah, you don't get the six of wands. You can't achieve your actual goal. Let me see something here, y'all. Seven of Swords. No, Five of Swords. My bad, y'all. But basically, somebody made an unwise choice, okay? Somebody made a real... Somebody gambled something here. And, um, you know, yeah, I'm hearing somebody gambled something here. Or they may have had some very questionable motives. Show me what I need to see about this Five of Swords. The magician comes in a reverse, y'all. Yeah, somebody was very, very deceptive. Yeah, the, whew, I'm even hearing spell work as well. But somebody was very deceptive trying to get something. And what I'm hearing is like by any means necessary. And it was a better way of doing this, but they didn't do that. Yeah, instead they, they, they created adversity, opposition conflict three of cups where it could have been something here where it was just like harmonious everybody could have got along in this situation in some kind of way but yeah yep three of swords comes out but it ends up being a third party type situation and it ends up being a lot of heartbreak break and grief and suffering and emotional pain is how i'm hearing it right um Wow. Yep, two of pentacles. So this could be a situation here where there was some juggling involved. All right, somebody could have been juggling two people or several people or, or juggling some type of responsibilities or, or something here, right? If it wasn't people. And again, when there's juggling, you end up overcommitting yourself to one thing or you somebody ends up catching the shit in and the stick, right? But... Otherwise, yeah, it was it wasn't a good choice at all. It was a very unwise choice because it created a competitive environment for you. The magician comes out in a reverse position. Tell me about this magician in a reverse. It created some yeah, somebody's very manipulative, um, or was. Tell me about this magician in a reverse. Yeah, there we go. Seven of Wands. Again, somebody was manipulating or somebody was doing some type of black magic or spell work to create um, an obstacle for someone. And it just didn't work. And now it's like they see and they're looking like, damn, you still you still got the full wands. You understand? You still celebrate. You still building a foundation. You still got the opportunity. You still got uh, a fresh start. You still got the relationship. After I done did all of this stuff to create adversity, like to be your opposition, they really did a lot to keep you struggling here on this journey. But you just reached an important milestone and it's like, bam, they still reached this milestone and I was trying to knock them back. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say, but... <laughs> That's what's the tea. I can't even say nothing else, y'all. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Woo!